Hi, hi students. Lymphatic filariasis is today's topic. Filariasis, okay. It is also called as a filariasis or lymphatic filariasis, okay. It is also called as a elephant tetas. See here, elephant tetas. You can see the elephant here. Elephant tetas, okay. See, first of all, what uh, the thing is, this disease. This disease very dangerous, very dangerous, and it is having only one drug. That one drug is discovered by the doctor Yella Pragada Subbarao. That's why I kept his name. Okay, he is called as the miracle man of the medicine. In the medicine, in the medicine field, he is a miracle man. He man, that man, uh, Iron Man. You call all the man's man, man, all the man. He is a miracle man. Really, a hats off to you. And you feel proud that he belongs to a Telugu person. So that I will also feel uh, proud. Why means he discovered, uh, I will tell you what he discovered. So, uh, it, lymphatic filariasis, elephantiasis, what is its relation with the elephant? Either it came from elephant, the disease came from elephant, that and all we will discuss. Okay. First of all, you tell the, say the hats off and real salute to the Dr. Ella Pragada Subbarao Garu. Okay. Uh, see, if I wrote one book about him, it will waste. Two books also waste. Three books also waste. Number of books you keep on writing, it's waste only. Because such a great person, one book is not enough. Why I am telling of this much of is uh, discovery of one drug itself is very biggest uh, thing. Okay, lifelong throughout life, you have to dedicate to, to discover one drug. But he discovered not only one drug, not two drugs, not three drugs, more than four to five drugs he discovered. Just imagine what is the situation of the his knowledge. So he didn't get the Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize. That's why the India, the irritated Indian, he started putting up WhatsApp this message the irritated Indian, because they are not giving a WhatsApp, uh, sorry, they are not giving a Nobel Prize. Okay. So here, see, methotrexis, cancer drug he discovered. And cancer drug, number of people are suffering with the cancer. He discovered the methotrexate. It is only discovered by Dr. Ella Pragata Subbarao Garu, but nobody knows his name. Okay. Methotrexate Tiva. See here. Okay. See, he is Ella Pragada Subbarao. He developed a methotrix state, world first cancer drug methotrix state, discovered by him only. Saved, which is saved a millions of lives. He also discovered a diethyl carbamazine. That is only the thing for the, our disease. Today's our disease is a elephant TDS. Okay. Or also called it as a filariasis. This is the problem. It looks like elephant leg. One, one leg, see the one leg is normal. Another leg will become elephant. In some cases, both legs will become a elephant it is. Okay. It looks like elephant leg. That's why it is called as elephant it is. No way it is related to elephant actually. That point you have to get. Elephant is not a carrier. Mosquito is a carrier for this disease. Mosquito. Again, mosquito came, came back. Uh, malaria from malaria. Same mosquito, dengue mosquito, all these mosquitoes will carry this uh, parasite also. Okay. Uh, good treatment available for elephant. It is a one and only, this is the only good treatment. See here, this, this point is important. Diethyl carbamazine, but carbamazine is a one and only drug. It is discovered by him. It is only the one and only drug available for the elephant. It is very important drug, very important. In short, we are calling it as a DEC, D E C, DI. Ethyl C carbamazin for elephant foot. See here for elephant foot. This disease is also called as elephant foot or elephant leg. Let's celebrate our uh, true heroes who have made the Indians proud, feel proud to be share this picture. Okay, if possible, you don't um, um, the thing. He is born in Andhra Pradesh, Bhimavaram. Okay, uh, Agaba, August uh, after the independence era, al almost uh, 1947. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, nationality and fields uh, thing and institutions where he worked is a now it is a American uh, cyanamide. Now it is called a very popular 
now it is called a pfizer pfizer company he worked in those days he worked in the pfizer just imagine institution that is institution and uh, alma mater madras medical college harvard university very great he studied in the madras medical college and also in the harvard university he studied and he discovered highly knowledgeable person why they are not, uh, ignoring the nobel prize but he is more than nobel prize no nobel prize gibel prize that and all not enough for him discovery of the role of the atp adenosine triphosphate we know very well so he discovered the atp in muscular activity how the atp is involved in the muscular activity he only found out and the synthesis of the folic acid synthesis of the methotric state see methotric state discovery of a diethyl carbamazepine tetracycline very popular antibiotic he only discovered he discovered the antibiotic drug anti that's why he is a medical miracle man of the medicine that's why we are calling it as really how much i will tell not enough for him social and preventive pharmacy that is to we are studying a subject also called as a social and preventive medicine that is also another name of this subject useful for all for paramedical staff like a pharmacy nursing blt and today our topic is a highlighted point that is a lymphatic filariasis his name itself indicate it is a lymphatic it involves in the lymphatic system okay right yeah introduction see disease name and synonym these are all the names filariasis lymphatic filariasis elephant it is elephant foot elephant leg uh, elephant it is tropica na tropica why means it comes in the only the those having a high sun temperature high sun temperature okay that's why it is called a cold countries no hot countries only hot countries mosquitoes will grow like anything in cold countries mosquitoes will not grow that's why there is no uh, mosquito carrying disorders in the cold countries above the world that is in the world map if you cut at the center total world above that uh, cold below that uh, we have a temperature so that's why it is elephant it is tropicana arabum elephant it is arabum it occurs in all age groups not uh, no the such type of uh, any concession for children any concession for elder no concession oh, for it is for all and it occurs in both genders males females ch childhood elders youngers okay old age people but more cases in the males but it comes to female also okay occurs to legs see either single legs or both legs here single leg here both legs see here elephant leg it looks like this okay legs Uh, it comes in the breast to at attacks to breast in the females and testis testicular to the males transmitted by the mosquito spread in tropical areas total five parasites are there one two three four five all these five called as species you can see here species five types is there kingdom is animal from animal area only it is not uh, the plant belong to phylum is called nematoda that's why it is also called as nematoda disorders okay and the family uh, this is the filariidae family and the genus is ucheria ucheria is the genus that is also very very important name ucheria species are five types the, all these are the five types all five are important first one loya loya this loya loya is called as a here you can see one loya loya you can see the here also here also same number loya loya and number two ucheria bankrupti this is the main uh, lymphatic it attacks the lymphatic system is this is ucheria bankrupti total five are important for all competitive examination regular examination brugia malai it is a chronic infection leads to elephantiasis brugia malai okay and uh, mansonella um, perstans serious cavity of the abdomen this is also mansonella mansonella comes means cavity serious cavity of the uh, abdomen serous abdomen so i worm infection subcutaneous it was appeared in world question papers loya loya two eyes we have no that's why loya loya like that we are calling loya loya like that you can remember i worm infections and this this is actually not required if you are interested you can go through what is the main differences among the five species so you can take a screenshot and uh, you can be go through what are the main slight very slight differences are there these differences generally they will not ask in the examination okay right and symptoms see it is in most of the patient it is asymptomatic that means that no symptoms okay no symptoms means problem is there but symptoms are not there blocked lymph ducts this is a lymph node we know 
this lymph duct this is lymph duct and this is a lymph node all the lymph node impa uh, blocked lymph nodes so all these junctions will be blocked nodes so impaired lymphatic drainage Dra lymph will not flow properly because of the blockage so enlarged lymph node lymph nodes will become enlarged these nodes so it leads to massive swelling see all that's why i kept all the red color here blocked lymph ducts so automatically uh, impaired lymphatic drainage so enlarged lymph nodes so massive leg swelling sequentially you can remember next what happen after swelling what happen your skin will become thick outside skin if you look no what we saw elephant leg thick and skin tissue skin will become a fibrous see fibrotic skin tissue okay it looks like a fiber 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 like that uh, if you and the skin ulcers will form skin ulceration and uh, various skin appearance okay and pain in the testicles so this is about skin external skin appearance this is internal lymph like that you can remember internal lymph these four points these four points about the external skin right and pain in the testis very severe pain will be there and the fever will be there and see here in the neck also to the neck region also how it was happened okay and this is a life cycle 50% is for in the mosquito life cycle of this parasite 50% takes place in the so this is mosquito stage all the red color see here filariasis mosquito stage these are the five steps and here human stage blue lines are the human stage what happened here mosquito one start uh, starts from here mosquito takes a blood meals from the human being so that uh, larva enter into the skin l3 larva see here l3 larva l means larva like that you can remember uh, it enters into the human stage so adults uh, lymphatics uh, it is uh, it enters into this adults males and female both and adults produces a sheeted so here uh, sheet is not there only round worms are there here sheet like structure see the ribbon like structure it is produced. adults produce a sheeted microfilaria that migrates into a lymph this is only this doesn't migrates into the lymph after getting sheets only like the ribbon shape then it is called a diagnostic stage see here d stands for diagnostic this is a diagnostic stage i stands for infective stage this is a infection infection here you can find the diagnosis this only you can be find out this you cannot find uh, that much of not easy this is okay so again what happen these will enter a mosquito take a blood meal again another mosquito not the same it may take here blood meal so that is uninfected uh, mosquito so what happen it, the mosquito will become infected microfilaria shed uh, like this again it is converted to l3 l1 larva l3 larva this l3 larva again it migrate it enters into the here so l3 larva to the sheeted one sheeted one to l3 larva that is a cycle which is going on that point you have to keep in your mind right and the lymphatic filariasis diagnosis there is a mainly two types are there one is antigen diagnosis that is nothing but a tapeworm or uh, like that helminthes family only this is a filaria you can find the filaria or you can find the antibody this is a, that's why it is called a serological test antibody blood test or lymph test it is called a antigen so here we are finding the antigen here we are finding the antibody so with the help of that we are confirming the disease here blood blood test or lymph test we have to collect the parasite or uh, see parasites are circulating in the blood of the infected person as well as in the lymph of the uh, person collect the and examine the blood smear smooth smear like a glass sheet you have to use okay slide as well as a glass sheet you have to keep on that so that you will get a smooth uh, uh, thing smear uh, for the presence of the larva and round worm five species uh, any one of five species what we have lymph collected from the lymph nodes may occasionally it contains a adult worms in the lymph because we shown a sheeted one is available in the lymph Uh, one whereas a round like structure or species found in the blood that's very important serological antibody this is and these antibodies igg4 is key here because igg4 especially it will be developed only so if there is presence of igg4 then you confirm that indirectly you can confirm that there was a, a problem is there that is this antigen is there so these antibodies will develop only to the this specific antigen okay so patient body produces igg4 antibodies against the parasite 
So antibody can be detected easily with the ELISA test. This is the ELISA test. Like NIM linked immunosorbent assay, it is not a lady name. Okay, don't, uh, it is a girlfriend name or like that. Okay. And uh, filariasis prevention. Mosquito prevention is nothing but filariasis prevention. Here two things are there. First one is kill or avoid the mosquito. Like uh, cover the containers wherever is there. Otherwise, uh, this will grow. Mosquito will grow. Here also mosquitoes will grow. That's why use insecticide as a diesel, petrol or small amount of the kerosene wherever there was a stagnant water or standing water and breed small fishes like this. So fishes will eat the eggs of the mosquitoes, apply the mosquito repellents, clear the drainage surrounding of your and throw away the water containers. Uh, wear the long, very long and bright color. Bright color, that is important. Mosquitoes will uh, attract to the black. Okay. Uh, long bright color and uh, set up the mosquito trap like a lamp and uh, windows, all windows it must be uh, mesh, mesh should be fit and you can use the net, this is the best solution. Whenever you are sleeping, use the mosquito nets, okay, like that. First one is the filariasis prevention, kill or avoid the mosquitoes. Second one is the mass deworming, filariasis prevention, second, mass, very mass deworming, that means that supply of the tablets for deworming whenever you are doing a deworming automatically filariasis also will die for deworming we are using albendazole see here abz very popular yeah just like a cbz cbz by we know no in the same fashion here abz you will get all bendazole a to z a to z is also available. that is one more see here z stands for worms it looks like they showed the logo like this it's nothing but all types of worms. Not only anthelmintics also, it will be killed down by the albendazole. Okay, this albendazole, not daily taking of that, only one tablet is enough. One tablet for three to six months, one tablet. That's it. If you are taking today one tablet, up to three months or six months, you need not to be taking another albendazole because very effective one. But all the worms will be killed. All the worms will be killed out. And another one is ivermectin. That is 3 mg is enough. This is 400 mg. A very good albendazole is very good. All all bendazole, all uh, worms will be killed out. Ivermectin, one tablet for three to six months. Uh, don't think that one tablet we have to take uh, daily for a period of three months or six. No, not like that. If you are taking a today tablet, up to three months, six months, need not to be take any tablet of this Ivermectin. So you can, you can see Ivermectin, Sandoz, very popular Sandoz company. Okay. Albendazole 400 mg, ABZ, this is also uh, Indico, Indigo, well, that is also a very popular company. Okay, this is, um, so you have to give, uh, and our India has provided a uh, mass deworming program to all schools present in India, government school, private school, they are giving a tablet like this. So they are not giving to the hand, directly they are putting like this, because uh, either he may, or he will throw, that's why directly, keeping in their mouth only. That is a system that Great India, we have provided deworming, especially for children. Uh, and this is a <coughs> lymphatic filariasis treatment. And either you have a lymph, uh, lymphatic filariasis or not, irrespective of that, you can be taken. That is a prevention, not the treatment. What we are seeing here, this is a uh, treatment, okay? Diethyl carbamazine, first drug. So how it acts? So neuromuscular system of, not your system, neuromuscular system of the worm, okay, filariae, parasite will be breaked. Carbohydrate and folate metabolism will be impaired. And ivermectin, mechanism of action, neuromuscular system will be blockaged. Suramin, benzimidazole, isothiocyanate, levamisole, arsenicals, antimonials, all these are the mechanism of action, not much important, but however, for three to four, you can learn the mechanism of action. Most probably this neuromuscular only will be there or carbohydrate or uh, like that. See carbohydrate, this is carbohydrate, nucleic acid, carbohydrate metabolism, carbohydrate, uh, neuromuscular or carbohydrate. That's it. You can write both neuromuscular and carbohydrate in the exam, no problem at all. Nobody will, okay. Right. So I'll end my session here. In my channel playlist, I have kept all subjects. You can watch it.